Right, okay, so we have our one and only race of the day lined up. It's Survivor versus Ricky in Redriver 2. They're doing the any percent warpless full story. So I'll let the guys take it away and yeah, enjoy the race. Alright, should be good to go. So hello, I'm the survivor. I'm gonna be doing be doing a race for all missions or any percent warpless depending on what you want to call it. And I'm gonna be racing with Red Ricky. So go ahead. Hello there. And uh yeah, I'm gonna be the winner, of course. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's I'm, how uh, we do I'm it, huh? Right. <laughs> yeah, that, that's how we do it. Like immediately get chat on my side, you know. No, um, yeah, I'm Red Ricky, and uh, yeah, I'll be Survivor's competitor for today. Alright, so, I mean, what can we say about this game quickly before we start? Uh, this is uh, the all-mission category, or as I said, any person warpless, so this is going to be every single mission. There's no uh, menu glitch to skip, because there is a menu glitch in this game to like skip most of the missions. Uh, basically, you skip the first from the first mission to halfway in the last city. It's a significant skip, but this time we're just gonna do everything from the first mission all the way to the final one. Which is honestly a lot more entertaining than having a fifteen-minute run of the game. Well, mostly because it's pretty much the same run. We just let's uh, the any percent is just the same run with less stuff. <laughs> it, the, every, the, all the threats are pretty much the same for where you, when you do the missions. Yeah, fair enough. So. But yeah, this is the fan-made PC port. Oh yeah, I guess uh, we should talk about that too. Yeah, um, it made by a lovely person of the name of Soapy in the Driver Madness Discord. Well, and by a team, but Soapy's the lead. Team, but mo I would guess Soapy is the main guy behind it. Yeah, it is. Um, so yeah, it's gonna run a lot more smoothly than uh, the original PlayStation One version of the game. Yeah, this is not your grandma's uh, driver one. This is not a PS1 version. This, first of all, runs in all resolution one. Uh, this runs at 60, well, 30 actually. It runs smoothly. It doesn't like uh, drop frames or anything. It stays at the constant frame rate all the time. Unlike yeah, the OG it, game. Unlike the PowerPoint presentation. Oh yeah, the, the actual PS1 version goes all the way down to like 10. It's it's rough. So, which is why I like this one, because this one is so much smoother. And all the loads are much quicker, obviously, because we have SSDs now. We don't have the really slow R drives and CDs. Yeah, instant load times. Woohoo! Yep. Alright, well, I think that's most of the introduction. Everything else, we're probably just going to think about it while we do the mission, so... We'll, we'll improvise. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure something out <laughs> once, it's, once we see it. Alright, you guys ready? Yep. Yeah. And apparently they wanted me to do the countdown, so here goes nothing. Three, two, one, go. Alright. Oh, I didn't do the quick load first. <laughs> Whoops. Oh well. Well, Ripperonis. Alright, well, I guess I'll explain that. Uh, basically, I don't know if it affects any everyone, but for me, if I don't load the game, like the story mode once, the first loading screen is slower. I don't know why. <laughs> it just happens. I have never noticed it myself, so... Yeah, it's, I, don't, I, I don't think it's anyone else has that, it's just me. For some reason, I need to load it once and then restart, and then actually start going, and then it's gonna load instantly. And it's only the first cutscene. Everything else is fine, it's just that one. I mean, the game has its weird things. Yeah, well, I, I mean... It, it <laughs> I is hope a there's PS1 gonna be port. plenty to... Yeah, I hope there's gonna be plenty to show of that. Oh yeah, physics in this game are... They're quite good and they can get quite wacky too. Which is kind of half the fun. Yes. Well, we're starting on the first mission, I guess, which is boring AF. Yeah, Doesn't this is really just, just drive, AGB. drive to the end. Yeah, drive point, point A to point B. There's no cops on this one, so it's you just take the most optimal line, uh, get get your racing lines, and just drive there. Don't crash anything, preferably. I guess there's there's the ending point you could explain. I mean. 
What is there to explain? Well, we literally drive to a car. We have to get into the car because yeah. we have to chase someone in the next mission. Well, That's I meant more it. like the exit. So basically, instead of just leaving your car as I'll show, you just... Oh, you mean like that. It's much quicker to just do this. <laughs> just hit the pole and there we go, instant exit. And next mission, as you see, the loading screen was move. way quicker. So I guess for, we can talk for the chase mission. So all the chases in this game are on a set road. Like no, not not all of them. Well, okay, most yeah, that's fair. Are. Yeah, most of these are, are the, the AI is on a set oh, wow. road as infinite mass. So even if I try to ram him, I ain't gonna do much. I had like great start. I already failed <laughs> because it spun out. Well, good, good job. So that's that's a great start already. Oh well, I got time to screw you up. Don't worry. <laughs> this game it can be a pain in a lot of ways. But yeah. uh... As you see the timer, we still have a timer, despite, you know, we're on a set pad. What else can I do? Because um, the timer, each chase has their own timers. So, let's say, like, this one's the 58 pattern, there's a 59 pattern, etc, etc. And they don't, the, the AI won't take the same route every time. Depending on what pattern you got. I sh oh, I shouldn't say it like that. I should say, it. every you time you get the 58 it. pattern, it's going to be the exact same route. But, that's it. Yeah. There's like 14 possible patterns pretty much you can get and it's just RNG. Yeah, yeah there's get. no way to manipulate that as far as we know, so it's just... Oh, did I get a good one? I hope so. The next mission also, is when we start resetting for like good patterns, because it makes a difference. On that one, like most of the patterns are like one second off of each other, so we don't bother. Also one thing we should mention is, because um, this is the FMA PC port. There are some additions as well, aside from it being 16 by 9 Yeah. We can also skip the in-game cutscenes, as you see. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, I got a cop car in train. Oh, nice. So yeah, uh, turns out you can leave your car in this mission. <laughs> Even though you're supposed to chase that train with Jones in your car, uh, you can still just swap it. I guess Jones just walks, in, uh, walks after you after that, or...? I, he just magically teleports into your car, you yeah, know? Yeah, pretty much. It's, it's like Drive for San Francisco, it's just magic. Also, the felony is meaningless, there's no cops spawn in this mission, so... Even though I'm, I'm at max felony, it doesn't matter. So, this mission is pretty much an auto-scrawler, because the train goes at a fixed speed. Oh, yeah. whoops. Oh, I might have to that. Also, one interesting thing is, is we cannot leave the radius of the train. Like, yeah. We need to stay within a certain distance. It's lenient, like much more lenient than the car pursuit, but it's still like... You still need to be careful. Yeah. The it, thing is, it, the game doesn't care if you're in front or behind. Yeah, it's just distance. It, left or right, it's just distance. It's the same um, with the previous mission in which we chased the Also, new glitch. The car. Uh, you can just drive onto the platform. You don't need to get out. <laughs> this version doesn't actually check out for the Y coordinates. Damn it, so, damn. oops. <laughs> oh, that's a slow pattern. A little oversight there. Yep. Damn it. But yeah, I really like how uh, that's in now the... broken in this one. Like yeah. you can just the, the x-axis is completely broken. Yeah, because that's not a thing on PS1. On PS1, you actually do need to get up. We, we tried it. There is yeah. a couple of other things as well, which whilst these guys are running, um, apart from obviously a lot of things that survive from Ricky had mentioned, um, there is custom replays, which are actually a thing in this now. Yeah, we don't um, use that for running. Yeah, use that's them. mainly just for fun. That's just something you can do as part of. Um, well, for a bit of fun, um, but it's unique. I want to say unique replays, which the the community is putting like vortex and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Hang back. So these are tailing mission. It's literally just don't go too far, but don't go too close. It's quite boring. And as you see, I reset it at first because I got a 157 pattern, which is really slow. And we reset to get a 136 pattern. Does like that's just. 20 seconds just free from yeah. just getting a better pattern. That's For some just... reason, Go this ahead. mission has like a whole bunch of 136 patterns and like I have maybe two or three 157s and a 150. Oh, not even. I think it's one, 157 and 150. That's it. No, no, no. If I like... checked the paths, there's like duplicates in. Oh, really? Oh, or, okay. or at least a timer is the same. The paths are not identical. Not all the 136 have the same. Right. Uh, yeah, I know that thing. much. Also, a little skip Which there, uh, just for the final part of the mission, you don't actually need to... It's not based on where the guy is, it's based on where you are, so you can just get ahead and get to the ending right away. 
Yeah, this game, like we said, it doesn't care about being in front or behind. Yeah. Okay, so this is the first mission with cops. Well, pursuer, I guess. Just next, we further on, we will get to the pursuer that are not cops. We play this game on easy, though. I should, should just specify. Yeah, we should special. We need easier, uh, easier AI is easier to avoid, easier to dodge, and they have less health, which is important in some missions. Yeah, there are some pursuer missions where we want to, like, actually hit the pursuers to get them quicker off in some occasions. Yeah, because sometimes... But you see that one up there. Because in this game, you're not allowed to get out of your car if you have a cop on you. And in some missions, you need to get out of your car to, like, steal a vehicle. And obviously, if you have a cop on you, you need to kill it ASAP, so the less health they have, the better it is for you. It's really the only reason we use a uh, easy. Most missions in this game are quite friendly for you, though. Um, yes. As you reach the end point and you have cops, the cops will give up on themselves. Yep. Which is there's quite a, weird. There's a yeah. big radius. Like it's un unlike Driver One, where they still keep going. In this one, if once you get near to this for your, of your destination, in most missions, there's an exception. We'll talk about those. Uh, when we get there, uh, the cop just to really just slow down. Like some, to straight up, barely not moving at, at uh, if they get close enough. So that's a hassle. You yeah, don't have to worry for most missions, at least. Which is actually quite nice. Yes. But of oh. course, the missions where it is important are the very hard missions. Yeah, the funny, the, the one mission where they don't do that is a brutal one. It's, Especially on the higher difficulties. Aside from the few police cars during this mission, it's a quite boring drive. Yeah, well, as you can see, it's really just... The, fir the first part is the scary part. After, as soon as you get to the boulevard, it's just straight line. As you can see on my street, like, the cops are just, you just slow the way down. And there you go, lost him right as I get there. Also, should we start the argument in chat about what it's called? A boulevard or a highway? Oh god. <laughs> I mean, this is a boulevard. No, a highway. If you want, if you want my verdict, motorway. Oh, yeah. Well, Boom, there's, there's a motorway. third option. Yes, there Boom. we go. Boom. <laughs> it's called a British guy with the motorways. Yeah. Third option. <laughs> I mean, that's... Chased in true, let's see. Get, do we get good RNG? No, not at all. I got a 158, so I'll take it. It's not amazing. I got a 210 the first time. Ooh. And 155 seconds, so I'll take that. Yeah. So, yeah, this mission is a pain in the ass, because basically everything goes from... The pattern goes from 145, 46, all the way to 2 minute 10s. And the fastest is 146, which is the yeah. preferable one, obviously. All the way to, 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 to 2 10, so that's a massive delta. This, uh, this game really is like, can you drive very well and can you have very good RNG? Yeah, I mean, it's mostly for these missions. Because the other one, the, you care less about how quick it is, more. Is he in a good pattern to kill them? Because those are the only two missions where you just need to follow a car. Period. Everything else after this is actually kill. You have to actually kill the guy. Yeah. But I don't know what's worse though, the, the on rails missions like these, or the missions where the, the AI is chosen to drive themselves. And oh be... yeah. I mean, I prefer these ones because the when the AI I try to drive myself, it's janky. It is quite janky. The AI doesn't know how to drive that well. Except when he does, and just jinx you per perfectly. Okay, so this is gonna be another case where I'm gonna not take the same exit as he does. I'm just gonna go rear. Just so I'm ahead, because again, I'm the one that matters for the ending mission. Trigger. There you go. Also, one one interesting thing you can see during these missions is that you have a catch-up system. Yep. But as oh, we yeah. said. The game doesn't care about the distance, about where you are. So yeah, it's if you're just in front of him, it will still speed up your car because the dist <laughs> distance is further. Yeah, how the game does rubber bending is instead of speeding the AI or slowing him down, it speeds you up and slows you down. So if you're close to him, he's gonna the game is going to slow you down a lot. If you're f away from him, it's going to speed you up, which is a neat way to doing it, I suppose. Yeah, so we're on Kane's compound yep. now, I believe. This is the first... I said so, glitch, uh, you could call it. Yeah, we, we're, we're gonna hit that truck out of the way and just squeeze through all these uh, vans here, because, like, you know, someone wasn't very uh, brilliant at uh, setting up these roadblocks. Yeah, reflection didn't try too hard to 
blocked away for most of them, so you can just like... There's an actual pet can just squiggle, squiggle around to not, like, hit the vent, but turns out it's just quicker to ram there. It's kind of funny that the whole mission is pretty much just squeezing between vents Alright, will trunks. I get this? I hope I get this. So this is the first thing. You're supposed to go all the way to the north and then go back in the compound, but you can just do this. I hope I get it. I, hope I got don't. it, yes. Oh, so no. yeah, you can just do that. I'll wait for Ricky for explaining. Yeah, I'm doing it now. I stood up and Oh, I didn't get it! No! Oh, that's a shame. It's it's oh, precise as hell. I was too stressed. Yeah. So I exactly. need to drive around now, which means right. uh, that's gonna be a significant plan. I mean, I was super nervous about that one, so. Alright, so basically. You, as you're probably seeing Ricky, you, not really go, you have to go all the way to the north and back to the south to the compound to escape. But turns out, with precise enough alignment and with, and with the AI pushing you, you can just squeeze through the, the gap between the wall and the, the semi truck. The truck, by the way, the semi truck is, uh, is in infinite mass, it's, it doesn't move. And now you have noticed, I actually went like left in the uh, like hangar instead of just going straight for the exit. And it turns out you actually need to hit the trigger because reflection obviously didn't expect you to go through that way. They thought you'd go like all the way around. So I need to actually go in the anchor to trigger the bridge, which will actually trigger the ending of the mission. Because if I just go right away, the, game, the mission won't actually end. It'll tell me I finished it, I beat it, but the game won't do anything. It's just gonna get stuck. So you actually need to trigger the. Uh, the bridge to go up and everything to start the cutscene. Anyway, this is now the first time we see rain physics. Yes. Or wet roads physics, rather. Yeah. Well, but it's actually raining this mission. It is, but I mean, we also have a mission where it is not raining and you still have wet yeah, roads physics. Yeah, fair, fair. I mean, the raining effect is um, questionable, <laughs> I guess. It doesn't show up much on my screen, really. It's weird. It, 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 it looks more like uh, the uh, initial D, like, speed effects that <laughs> <laughs> to the cars. Yeah. <laughs> or it, it does look like it does, it doesn't show. But yeah, it, it's strange physics to go on for the rain. Like the part you can trigger it on Havana, can't you, on Take Your Eyes? Yeah, there's a glitch to do it. It's kind of interesting. I wonder how someone managed to figure that out. I wonder like, if it's a it's an old debug thing that just never got taken away. I mean, yeah, it's I, just I, like you just you just park at a specific spot, turn to your right, press circle, and it's like, ah, oh, no, it's raining. It's like, huh? Okay, then. The the, oh, the interesting the interesting thing about it though is like, would there be spots in the other maps for that to happen? Maybe. Oh, like, might be. I mean, obviously, the Havana one is much easier to discover because it's, it's like right at the spawn. But what if the other cities also have this trigger somewhere maybe. hidden? It could be like a fixed coordinate. Like it's at zero zero, or maybe not. But like it happens that zero zero is there on that map. I am. Uh, I'm having some significantly bad traffic at uh, leaving Chicago right oh, is now. It? Mine went actually pretty smoothly until by the end I went to look at the map instead of skipping. I, for I forgot there's no skip cutscene there, <laughs> so I just pressed oh. show map. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead on this mission, on this pattern, because, again, I don't want to be behind him. I don't want to be ahead of him, because the ending of the mission is based on me, not him. So if I get there first, it's better. But it's a tricky way to do it in this pattern. But you go around here, go around here, and just beans it. And there you go, and I'm ahead. So now I'm the one being chased, <laughs> this is the one. If I get ahead enough, you'll see traffic spawns right in my face, because the traffic is based on him. As you see, the car, the grey car, they just spawn right there. Well, I hope I'm getting the 156, because that's like, going to be the more fun one to show off. Well, I already showed it, so... Uh, I got... Oh, you got the 156, yeah. I have the 216. Oh, yeah, that's pretty rough. Yeah, so this for this mission... Oh, yeah, I need to reset the 216 one. Oh, shit, I forgot. Yeah, we don't use that one. I was about to say, so... I'm so distracted, man. I kept... 
Okay, now I have 156 as well. I got two, 216 two times in a row. Well, the ending point is right here, so I just full beans it right at the end just to make it. Yeah, the interesting thing about these tailing missions is that um, the end oh, point, God. you have to reach the end point and then oh, this the is mission good ends. Or the timer has to end. Uh, but another interesting thing is oh, that oh, the, oh, world, uh, the traffic spawns around the car you're tailing. So I don't know if you've uh, managed to see that with the survival. Oh god, I am really... Okay, I need to kill this guy now. I'm not doing well, I just failed. <laughs> oh. Okay, this is why I thought about having no health, because I need to kill this guy to get in the truck. Alright, he's dead. So this this was the first uh, takeout mission, where you need to uh, destroy a vehicle. As you can notice, the van had infinite mass, like in the chasing mission, so you kind of need to rub your car against it to damage it, instead of just actually like ramming it. Because if you ram it, it's like you're gonna hit a wall and just, you're just gonna pounce all over the place and fail, probably. I believe that's quite different from how they did it in Driver 1. In Driver actually, 1, yeah. I think you actually have to ram and you can't just rub up against Yeah. Uh, I mean, Viper can confirm it, I suppose, because he's played it. Yeah, oh, fully enough, I might, my run's next to it as well. Yeah, so you, you'll be able to see like the difference between the, ch the chasing mission and this one. In this game, the chasing mission are way more brutal. I forget what, what it is, but I think when Vortex did a damage... I'm, I'm going to keep bringing Vortex up, but it's um, a video that he did where it was like the comparison in damage between like hitting something, and in Driver 1 it was basically any time you touched anything, like any object, a car, or anything, you'd, on, you'd add damage points to you, Tally. But with Driver 2 you can rub up against the wall and it wouldn't even damage you at all. Okay, but, which, in my opinion, is a huge improvement. Yeah, Driver 1 is not that forgiving when it comes to damaging your own car okay. in comparison to this. It does have some brutal missions though, still. Not as bad it's as 2, bad. but oh, God. it's okay, not as, uh, okay. yeah, it's not as bad as 2, but it's still bad. Okay, so as you can see, I tried to get in front and have him push me so he would dash him as a truck, but I missed my angle, so instead it just made me spun out. Did you lose him? Yeah, I, I restarted right away because I didn't trust that. Uh... See? And there you go. Instant death. That's what I was supposed to do the first time. This was a different pattern than I expected him to be. That's a rip. I guess I'll do it though. Alright, so that's good. Okay, now I cannot do it anymore. So okay. all the routes I practice, I get the one I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on the hijack or stuff? Yeah, on the first one. All right. Yeah, I got the 123, like the one where he goes I'm like, like 209. Dangle. I was like, I didn't, I didn't recognize the timer. Oh, I think so he goes straight on that one. Oh no, he goes left. Yep, he does. Oh, does he? Oh, no. I actually no, don't know straight. that. The he goes left right. and then goes straight. I mean, sorry. Oh right. Okay, yeah. Just, you should probably go in the alleyway then at some point. Uh, I don't if know. It's the one I think of. I got the 155 now. All right. So that's pretty good, they got like a quick kill on that. Funny enough, I don't actually know the pattern for hijack much, because I just usually go with whatever the game gives me. Which oh, is... aside from the four minute one, right? You skip that one. Or I mean on the the first one, you skip the four minute one, right? Yeah, anything that goes right, I don't use it, because it, I don't I don't like uh, going that way. I feel it's just too slow. But yeah, anyway, this now I'm just driving back to the same lockup we just drove to, so this is just casually driving the van, not crashing anything, because obviously the hell is quite high. Yeah, this is really a decent run for me currently. <laughs> like, I only have one reset on uh, stop the truck, and this was a quick one, so I'm probably decently close to my PV. I, uh... Yeah, I, I, I managed to fuck up a lot. Talking and, and playing is extremely hard. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I had way worse run on the two, so... I got the 150 for the second track mission, so that's good, because I know that pattern is like the fastest one. Yeah. Pretty much get. If oh, I can actually run this run? against him, I cannot. Fuck. <laughs> so yeah, you can see sometimes the car spawns right in front of the alley where you need to drive in. So that's kind of awkward. Okay, there we go. Also, as you can see, the button for this game is quite has a quite big reach. Oh god, finally! Yeah. 
That button hitbox is, is, is incredibly large. So this is a, another type of takeout mission. This time, the AI isn't on a set path, kind of. Uh, it doesn't have infinite mass and doesn't drive the same exact route every time. Now they actually like drive around themselves uh, around the city at random, mostly. When they're off screen, they have they go on a specific route. But when they're on screen, now they can go whatever they they feel like. But the good thing is now we actually need to ram them, like just rubbing their our cars against it one more this time. Yeah, it's interesting how the physics of that are different for these missions. Yeah. He really go left. No, he doesn't. Alright. Because as you can see, he's moving around. Oh shit, I got him right away. Okay, that was a good kill. So there's four cars to do in seven minutes. So it's all a matter of just getting there quickly. One thing to notice is all the cars always spawn at the same spot and mostly go the same way as soon as you get to them. Oh, and they, they all they try, try to, to drive aim to the, for the same spot. Yeah, they try to drive to the same endpoint. But obviously you don't want that because if they get that, it probably is going to be screwed because it's quite far. Yeah, I think it's one of the missions a lot of people would struggle with when first playing the game. Yeah, I mean that or the truck. Oh wow, this is quite quick. I'm gonna line my car this way because the next guy is coming soon. The next guy is spawned right around here. So you're already on like the... Car number third. three. Yeah, I am not even on the mission. Ah, oh, I missed it. You get a good hit. Oh wait, no. Like you see, the AI sometimes gets confused and just, like, spin okay. out. I managed to get... Okay, the third guy is not going well. Now I'm on find the clue. Now it's time to make up some time, I guess. Yep. Unless you, ha unless you get a gold one. That's okay, I don't have any car to use around me. I guess I'm gonna go oh, use yes. my beat in the one. Oh, I'm don't gonna don't use spawn this. anything. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna take that. Just use the truck. I actually kind of t thought about it, but the, the truck left. Because, okay, quick uh, summary up about mm. speed of these cars. In Havana, most of the car has the same, same top speed. The only one that doesn't have is this guy, like these two. These two don't have the same top speed as uh, the rest of them. They're slower. The weird banana car. So this is why I didn't want to go in that one, because it's much slower. But the van is Ooh. the same speed. Alright, I just almost insta-killed the, the first car. Alright. Like, literally, just, I just have to sneeze on him and he's dead. Nice. Yeah, the first one died super quick, too. I was impressed. Not to interrupt the moment, but Ricky, Murky Poo's in chat, and he's just said Murky and names name Zoom have apparently got engaged. Oh, oh nice. Congratulations, guys. Yeah, there are two people who are uh, often in my own chat. Oh, both of us in touch. Yeah, they've apparently got engaged. Oh, shit. Nice. Well, congratulations to you two. Okay, so I knew he was going to go this way, so that's why I went this way to cut him off. And I got screwed by traffic. Oh, wait, no. I'd be able to pull something off. So yeah, this is the end point we're talking about. They're just going to go in circles around here. He's over. So one thing you need to know for this, uh, for these mission too, is that if they hit a car themselves and you didn't do anything to them, it won't count for damage. All right, escape to the fair. Let's get out of here. So this is those are the one of the few mission this game where you start with the same car at the same place with the damage you have, with extra felony though. They do this do this twice in the game and that's it. And it's both time in Havana. Oh god. 
So yeah, the, the goal of this mission is to get to the ferry, pretty much. And to get to the ferry, we actually jump on it, because apparently Tanner is late as hell. And I'm gonna slow down a bit, because I don't want to overshoot it. Because yes, I did lose a run because I overshot the bloody boat. <laughs> or bounced off of it. Yeah. Okay. So this is going to be another basic, just drive to point A to point B. Okay. Um, my fourth car somehow got stuck on the pole. Interesting. Oh. Yeah, no, I don't know. That's a new one for sure. Yep. Where the hell is he going? He's driving away from the damn point. Yeah, sometimes they just turn around and, I don't know, they kind of just... Awesome, I keep he practically drove back to his own spawn. Oh, I didn't want to get felony. So the most important thing in missions like these is to keep your felony as minimum as possible. Because right now, th that one single hit with the other car just made my felony go up to so I can get two cop cars following me. Which is not good. And if I get even more, I'm gonna get Roblox. Except not those. That's a weird Roblox that's glitchy. As you can see, there's like it's like a pre-programmed roadblock, pretty much. Yeah. Okay, I just finished finding the clue. Alright. Because, from what we could figure out, in the beta of this game, they plan to have, like, script, uh, like... I don't know how to call it, like, script events? Basically, in some mission, there would be, like, a car crash with cops cars around it, just to looking at it. And I get, I guess in, that's kind of a leftover from that. Because that it's the only time that this happens. There's no other thing like this in the rest of the game. Where the f hell are you going, my guy? But then now this is just drive quietly. Oh man, why do there have to be two buses passing each other <laughs> on like the narrow roads? Yeah, Come on, a, man. Hell of a roadblock. That's like a worse roadblock than the cop cars actually have yeah, in the game. I'm not having uh, the greatest luck. But at least the uh, find the clue was pre pretty fast. I think I had like 2 minutes 50 seconds left. I actually didn't know this, funny enough. And then I did escape the ferry with like no cops at all. Oh, nice. Alright, another drive mission, dry basic driving mission. There's a couple of those in there. Especially in Vegas. Vegas loves to go from point A to point B missions. Oh, but Vegas is so boring in that regard. Yeah. But you'll see soon enough. I'm just waiting for Stakeout to turn up. Yeah, Stakeout <laughs> is the one thing and, that's the um, wow. Find the keys, is it? Steal the keys. Oh, I've actually done too bad nowadays, this one. Steal the keys. That's it. Oh, are we gonna do the different car thing? Yeah, I'm keys? I'm taking your challenger, you take your bloody pickle. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm gonna do it. So I should talk about the about the filling system, so because I did start a bit on the previous mission. Uh running over trying to run over paths, running over like uh signposts, stuff like that, crashing in cars and walls, uh, gives you a felony. Crashing a cop car, funnily enough, doesn't give you any felony. <laughs> I don't know why, it just doesn't. They just don't get upset from that. Yeah, they don't care about that, but if you try to uh, crash in a, a pedestrian car, oh, no, that's bad. Okay, this is gonna be another tailing mission. This one is a bit annoying. Because like Jericho is like to go full speed and then stops red, like dead on his track. Just to, just to like, catch you off guard. So you need to give a quick look to your proximity meter. Stay back, As you see, like you just brake check me there. Stay back, man. You're getting too close. Oh wow, it's still staying there. And of course, you're like the slowest car the, of the city, just being at it. even more annoying. Stay back. Well, at least it's only like a 50 second mission. Yeah, it's a quick one at least, but still. Stay back. I wonder if I can get the glitch. No, I didn't. There's a way to instantly end the mission by the end, but it's 
kind of janky to get. All right, Pursuit Jericho. And I get a good pattern. Oh, yes, 209. Let's go. Uh, miss, messed up a bit. All right, we got to get him in the alleyway. Uh oh. Oh, this is getting bad. Oh, this is quite bad, man. I don't actually know yeah, where he goes. Please just re-snap the, <laughs> the run like uh, I actually like don't know where he times. goes. Alright. Oh, it's this one. No, I know where he goes. It's the one where he goes in the trees where, where you have that in your hard mode. Where race we did. Yeah. That's awful. So I guess, and see, I'm pretty much going the same speed then, so I can't, can't really do much right now. Now we're talking about stuff that's all Oh, good, game. I got him. The, the pole and tree hitboxes, or Bad. almost any hitbox, they're Massive. way bigger than the textures. So, yeah, um, trying to cut corners a little too much, you'll end up hitting an invisible yeah. hitbox. You need to assume the trees are massive oak trees, even though they look like a twig. Yep. In Las Vegas, it's the worst. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is Escape the Brazilian. So we need, we're not allowed to leave this car. We need to get all the way to the uh, lockup we used earlier, and we got two pursuer on us. Fun fact: there is a f actually we have actually felony currently. We just don't see it. But there is actual like felony still going. So like running over pads, crashing in cars will give give myself more felony. Even though the game doesn't show it. Uh, Jericho in my path right now. So oh, I'm this is a bad spawn? Oh, that went well, okay. That was a terrifying spawn, holy crap. Yeah, the scariest thing in this game is having pursuer spawn facing you. Because the game is, is... There's one thing the AI is good at is to ram you right in the face when they're spawning in front of you. That's their one job they do well. Okay, oh, pursue Jericho. 209, let's go! Oh, nice, we go about the best one. Alright, this is over, I'm in Vegas. There's no getaway. So this is a pretty basic mission again. Just drive to the uh, drive to the casino, grab some people, get some family because of it, and then just drive. Keep driving on the strip. It's literally just a straight line for the whole mission. Oop. Let's go this way because it's quicker. Whoop! Oh, that's one we're getting there. Skip cutscene. Oh, hi there, my guy. Oh, the Jericho room. Uh, I'm still on Jericho. <laughs> oh, so you're gonna chase him all the way like I did? Yeah, pretty much. I managed yeah. to get him on the other one, the left corner, he does before he goes yep, all the way to I the tree spot. Alright, we did the same thing then. So, technically, it's it's not a great Jericho, but it's not a, it's all right because you do pretty much go right where you need to go anyway, so... Yeah, you're pretty close to the endpoint. So you don't lose too much by having by not getting right away, but preferably you'd get it right away in the alleyway or something like that. But for that pattern, it doesn't matter too much. I mean, most of the, the other ones, it does matter because it doesn't go right where you need to, so... You'd end up losing time by having to do, do extra distance for, by driving back to where you need to go in the next mission. Ooh, sh ah, oh, sugar. Yeah, the split. This game has a few split missions, and the import most important thing about the split mission is minimizing the distance. Yeah, trying to like end at a, a good spot for the uh, next one. I mean, we already did both: Escape to the Brazilian and Escape to the Fury. Those are the two ones. You're at the safe house. Alright, that's done. Okay, beat the terrain. This is a weird one. 
So we need we need to beat the train, as the train mission says. We need to get ahead of the train, get in the car that's on the bridge, and get that car out of the way. This mission is surprisingly hard, casually. I like I don't know why they made this like tie, but it's a really difficult mission. You don't have much leeway to to, to do it. So meanwhile, uh, I'm in Las Vegas myself. Wait, this is, so this is just how far I'm like behind, like uh, three, four minutes or something. I said three minutes. About two and a half, three minutes, I'd say. Because you're on Casino Getaway and Survivor's just started Carbon. So, yeah, this is another drive from A to B in a car you do not have to leave. Except this one beeps. Yeah, like a microwave. Yep, there's really in about 2 minutes 40. Because, you know, when someone put a bomb in a the car, they make it beep really loudly. That's really subtle. Yeah, <laughs> make it extremely obvious that there's a bomb in the car. I'm sure the person won't notice. Also, who is, whose brilliant idea was it to park oh. the car with a bomb inside and leave it with the keys? Uh, <laughs> and enough petrol to just drive it back to where it came from. You didn't take that part through, I think. No, I don't think so. I would have popped the tires or something. Look, the guy needed to pee. He had to leave right away. There's a reason he runs back in the pickup truck in the cutscene. He had to pee. He needed to get out, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Then I tried to take the keys and like stop the car. Bathroom break, man. I mean, they set it for like three minutes for no reason. Yeah, oh yeah, that's a, that's a fair point. The pedal one makes it, helps it explode. I mean, doesn't technically petrol not really explode? Well, though. it catches fire, so it's more damage, I suppose. I don't know, man. I'm not fucking. I, do I look like I blow up shit? I mean, I think Biff Busters actually had a whole episode on like exploding petrol tanks and shit. Yeah. Like <laughs> oh, a part. Oh no, never mind. It's on the cup I was part, but no. Time for beat the train. All you had to do was get on the damn train, CJ. Oh wait, that's yep. a different game. Yeah, that couple of the four years after the, that this game. A little too early. <laughs> this game was <laughs> ahead of its time. Very early, yeah. I think Sandra's had cool train mission. Nah, Driver 2 did it. I mean Driver you know, 1 did know, it first for it really. You know what I realized after watching Driver Parallel Lines run? It's just, it's another game that ends with a helicopter crash. <laughs> yep. Wonder what we see in that one. Also, here's the HD explosion. As you can tell, obviously the Kesda was quite badly damaged. Yeah, I don't know either. I guess they ran out of budget to... I don't know, they're gonna have to change the texture or something. No. Also, for this mission, as you saw, I started with felony on foot. If I did, if like a cop saw me and parked right next to me while I was on foot, I would actually fail the mission instantly, because the game would say, oh, you've been caught. Which is interesting because the original game doesn't. Have yeah, this. the original game does not support felony on foot. It wipes any sort of felony. Yeah, the code was left in the game, but. Uh... Yeah, so Soapy managed to like uh, enable it back again. Although, as you can see, it doesn't matter much for this mission because as soon as you get in the car, the felony goes away, so. Yeah, we just hug the wall and uh, cops don't care. Yeah, and this car happened to be quite quick and right in the right place anyway, so it's just, just get in and. Leave as nothing it's happened. It's like someone parked it there very conveniently for our main character to use. Oh wow, it's our, our perfect challenger we keep driving everywhere. It's right here it's like, again. The, the challenger is like plot armor. Pretty much, yeah. It's always there. Yep, except for that one mission where it turns blue and then come back to red for the next one. Uh, In the just ambulance. I know, that's, that's, that's like going totally in the cover, like, so they don't know it's standard. Oh yeah, oh wow, who could this be? It sounds like a classic episode of Stasky Nuts, it's like, see here, it's orange, then see here, it's blue, and then it's orange again! We can't well, magic self-changing cars. If, if some people actually paid proper attention with uh, Chase there in Jericho, they would have noticed that the car changed colors between the missions as well. Yeah. Because it goes from green to suddenly yellow in some cases, well, because... because it's supposed to be yellow, I think. 
isn't it supposed? I thought it was. Is it, I don't know. I actually don't know. I'm so confused by it. But it's a little oversight that yeah. it's the wrong color on certain paths for that mission. It changed color like, a bit when you're on the pattern you get. That's not a joke. Like some some patterns it's yellow and some it's green. I don't know if it's a mistake by Soapy of reflection. I don't remember. No, it's that's a reflection thing. The original port has that. All right, so yeah, it changed color between depending on the which pattern you got. It, it's either gonna be yellow or, or green. So I guess maybe the green's a mistake because it's the same color the color you're using. So maybe like the color just reused that from by error on some patterns. I don't know. So anyway, yeah, bank job. We need to go get Jericho because he made it, he made a a robbery. It didn't work, and apparently they still have time to get a guy to run away and call the call us to get him. Yeah, that that's the that's the interesting thing. Yeah, just about being shot. Go to a cell phone booth to call <laughs> call call for backup. You think Jericho <laughs> could just leave with the guy at the same time? But apparently, yeah. So yeah, don't question it too much. The story is a bit I'm weird when you think about it. Yeah, I mean, at that point, if the cops are that bad of a shot, why do you just not take a cop car and just drive off? <laughs> yeah. Also, how did, did the car get flipped? Who knows? Maybe the hull just got through there at some point. And... It's interesting, though, in the original version of the game, where the car is uh, flipped, it will uh, yeah. spawn behind you after driving under the Yeah, it's getting teleported in one of the cop cars. I mean, it doesn't do that on all versions. It's only on 1.0, if I recall. Uh, I don't know. As far as I know, I've seen it occur on um, all original ports, at least. So. But it may, maybe I misremember. I recall it's not, it, it doesn't it, happen it every happened time. It happened in V-Driver as well, but Sobe fixed it. Yeah, Sobe managed to fix it. So it, it, the car won't teleport all over the place. There's, an, there's a later mission, actually, where it also happens. Oh, does it? Uh, yeah. It? yeah, but it's it only happens when you drive a certain direction, and because we do not drive in that direction, um, it doesn't Shit. matter. Doesn't tell me the mission, though. Um, it is the um, blow up the arc one. We we drive towards the south and take that shortcut that saves like a whole minute. Uh, but if you drive the normal route over the highway, uh, that that and you don't take the challenger, the challenger will. Uh, spawn behind you on oh. the car cop cart. Hmm. Also, I just perfectly um, demonstrated the annoyingly massive hitboxes of trees. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I I go around so wide for, because of these bloody trees. I don't trust them. I lost so, I've lost so much time to these guys. So nowadays, yeah, yeah. I just I go super wide and don't take any chances. They're they're my arch nemesis. Yeah. Any speedrunner for this game will know about the bloody trees. I think also, any pe person that has played Las Vegas will know about the bloody trees. So yeah, it turns out for this mission, you don't you just ram in the wall, get out and press triangle right away to press the button, and that's good enough. Alright, ambulance. This one is a bit scary, because the cop car will kill the ambulance if you, when you, if you take it out at the wrong spot. Okay, this is quite good, actually. Just need to do one hit on the ambulance and it's it's gone. It's... I'm just... Usually I try to get it to this corner. All right, good. This is a brilliant uh, ambulance. Because I didn't have to kill the cop. Like the, I didn't kill him right away. I just made it all the way to one hit, and then I got him at the corner, and the the cop car just killed himself while pursuing us. So this is funny enough the perfect uh, ambulance because you don't waste time on killing the cop, you just kill the ambulance and get in right away. Which is admittedly quite hard to get. Yeah, because the, it's not a hard mission to kill the ambulance. The hard part is to actually make sure the cop that's pursuing us doesn't kill the ambulance you just took out. Because once the ambulance goes, goes down, uh, it doesn't have much shell, it doesn't take much to kill it, so if the cop car just ram it once, it's over. You also don't want to take um, too long trying to get uh, rid of the cop if you manage to get the ambulance. Yeah, obviously, because like, that's time lost, trying to kill the ambulance. And the thing is, you oh, kind of need to kill the cop. You don't want to kill the ambulance. Yeah, don't kill the ambulance. <laughs> that's, that's, you need the ambulance. 
And the thing think is, you've been brainwashed. You yeah. must kill the ambulance. And yeah, and the thing is, if you don't kill the ambulance after where I did it, you're probably gonna be screwed. Because anything after that, the ambulance just goes in a straight line. It's poor and unkillable. Also, Airborne, Viper, right? here we go. Roadblock. So first of all, we go around because it's quicker. <laughs> we don't go straight line. We just turn around because it's a much quicker round. I don't know why I hate this mission, but I hate it even more if it's on a hard difficulty. Oh, it's... Yeah, we have done it on hard, and I have had to reset it like... Eight times. Eight, nine eight times. Eight times at some point? Not eight or nine times? It was like a 20 minute loss of just that mission over and over. I think if there's any mission that loses you time, if it's not Chase the Gunman, it's Stakeout. Yeah. Because this is... Hands down. We should do some explaining, because people might be curious, like, why? This is just drive from A to B. Like, yeah, you start with failure and a bit of damage, but, like, doesn't sound too bad. Uh, so, you know, earlier, when we mentioned, like, in most missions, the cops will stop uh, when you get to your, your destination. Yeah, they don't do that in this one for some reason. So, yeah, if you're not going to have cops on you, uh, you're screwed. You have to lose them somehow. There's some missions in Driver 1 where the cops will lose you and then right at the last minute, when, every time you get near, yeah. the cops will always spawn right at the end. Like, one cop will always spawn, you have to kill him. Yeah, I'll just like, wait slowly. Luckily in Driver it's not too bad because you know how much health you can knock off your car. In yeah. Driver 2 it takes ages because it's like, knock, knock, another knock. Yeah, it just it takes ages to kill. Because rubbing doesn't work on like, Driver 1. Not only that, you kill one cop and then another shows up. Yeah. Okay, so I don't have any cop, which is actually kind of bad, because there's some good odds I'm going to get one near the airport. Okay, there's one here. Shit. Okay. Now I'm my hoping he's going to get stuck somewhere. Okay, that's kind of good, because he's far away from me. That's good enough for the game. I just need a good spot for the next eye. Ooh. Oh, I think I'm, I'm- oh shit, I got it, I got it, I think I'm doing fine. Don't jinx it. Yes! Okay, this was a flawless, uh, stakeout. Now steal the keys. Nice. So yeah, that was extremely lucky. This is how you want it to go, just get good spawn. But as you can see, I didn't do anything special, I just hoped no, no, no cop would spawn right in my face. In fact, you might have noticed, I kind of- uh, hit the brick at one point because I thought I saw uh, the cup icon spawn in the map, but no, that was just. I just mistook the uh, ending point blinking for a, a cup icon. Isn't it one of them things on that mission, though, that if the cops don't see you but they're still on you, you can actually still beat the mission? Yeah, that's or has that been fixed? Yeah, that's correct. You can still be in chase mode technically, but if the cop isn't in your. doesn't have you in its view, like any of the cops, it counts. The game will give it to you. It's also a little trick we figured out when we 180 on stakeout and we drive on the left side, where I'm driving right now, the cops will spawn on the other road most of the time. Oh yeah, I didn't do that actually. I had one spawn there now and one spawn. Yeah, sometimes it does happen. Which is actually good because now I won't have cops for a little bit yeah. and I can just calmly drive here. Okay, and so dodge these two cop cars over there. So for the, still the keys, the important part is I don't want this the guy I'm gonna chase to turn on the highway. Because if you, oh, where the fuck you going? Because the highway is bad. Because he's gonna go in a straight line. I won't be able to do anything to him. Because I'm just gonna go right at the same speed as he does. Oh no! Don't turn around. Oh, that's actually good. Oh wow, that's a good. Oh, hey, that's a brilliant uh, still the keys. Oh, brilliant. It's all right, I guess, because I did get quicker. Get to the car lot. All right, C4 deal. So yeah, that mission is kind of scary because it's only one car, so it's much easier than the uh, find a clue one because he's not on a fixed pattern. Uh, but. Uh, it's kind of easy to get him to go on a straight line forever, pretty much just be stuck behind him. Because again, if he go gets on the boulevard, you're pretty... Well, I guess th that part is more of an highway. Uh, um, the motorway. Yeah, I guess yeah, we decided it's the motorway, in fact. 
But yeah, like he gets on the model where you just go in the straight line. You're kind of just again because of the speed matching thing. You're kind of just going the same thing as, as he does. So it's just two cars with the same top speed going in the straight line and not doing much. Also, I might demonstrate what Viper was talking about. Nope, I did not because the car cop spawned in front of me. The fucking twat. So you have to stop and just crawl to the exit. No, I need to. Okay. No, he still was being chased by uh, the other one. Yes. Okay, and another one spawned to just mess me up even. Oh yeah, that's. This is. So when that happened, you kind of just start doing like NASCAR runs. Ar no, around the airport. I was doing demolition derby instead. Oh yeah, I guess this is easy. Yeah, we can just demolition derby then. So this is another perk of going on easy. They have less health, so you just can just like take them out with your own car. Because on the hard mode, you're just doing NASCAR and just hoping they get get stuck and you'll lose them. And to be different than uh, the survivor over here, I'm taking the truck on steal the keys. Because he prefers the more mass. <laughs> yes. And I, just I prefer the truck. It has more mass, and you can have a higher view, so it's a bit easier to see what the fuck. Uh, I just like to change it because it's closer and quick, and it's a quicker entry, yeah, and you get there earlier. So in this one, unlike uh, the uh, cardboard getaway, you do keep the film you had on foot for some reason. I don't know why. Also, there's a neat uh, little trick for this one. Instead of going all the way around like they probably expected you, you can just go around here. Thanks to Commander Colton for that route. And I should do that when I was a kid, so... Uh, I, that's how I learned it. So, I'm gonna give him credit to you for yeah. that. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I found that as a kid. So. Cause I remember finding this mission if you go the actual route where you don't skip there, it's actually a decently hard mission. The time is pretty tired. Yeah, but if you go the there, yeah, as you can see I'm already near there and I still have two minutes left. Cause one thing this it might not show, but this game is brutally hard. Like it doesn't show much because like we're both like the first and second player of the, for the speedrun, so we're kind we're kinda of used to the difficulty of this game. Oh yeah, place a bomb, and for some reason Tyner decided that 14 seconds for 3 bombs is enough, so you need to hurry the hell up and get out of here. Oh, ah, get out! Okay, <laughs> I got stuck in the doorway. I had 3 seconds left and got stuck in the doorway, that was kind of scary. Okay, welcome to Rio de Janeiro. Oh, I didn't take the Thunderbird, whoops. Oh. I am on steal the keys and my car is relatively drunk. I have no freaking clue what he's doing. I mean, as long as it's a good enough drunk where you can just take it out easy. No, it's not not, uh, not a good drunk. Oh. It's a bad kind of drunk. But I did get him. It. It's like an average one, I guess. Right. So yeah, bus crush. A to B again. We need to go get a, a bus, then go to a compound, take out some cars, and then just go back to the old garage and finish it. It's a long, actually, it's probably the longest driving mission next to the one after this. About to say, Rio's probably the longest part of the game, hands down. Yeah, for dri driving for sure. wise. Preferably, to me, it's also the more interesting part of the run because it's um, it's different. Difficult. All yeah. the missions are pretty different from each other. Yeah, it's less just A to B and that's it. There's... Las Vegas is literally very linear in that, in that regard. Yeah. So yeah, this is the boss in question. So this tr this bus is quite slow, sadly. So, and one part of the road we need to take is a tiny one-way road. We need to go on the wrong side. It's a pain. I don't get why they made you go through that way, but oh. So this is basically just all about keeping your momentum as much as you can. I will try a new route that Trey Rod told me to try. I don't know if it's gonna be quicker, but hey. 
Marathon is a good time to try new stuff, right? Wait, wait, what are you gonna try? A new route for uh, Bus Crush. Oh. You know, in the, uh, there's like some tiny alleyways you can take in the uh, little, little, uh, little tiny roads you need to kill the cars in, right? Nope, I have no idea. Well, there is, so apparently it, it might be quicker to take those instead of just going the route we usually take. I, I never timed it, so far it might be slower, I don't know. I'm just gonna try it for the second, just see how get a feel for it. So yeah, as you can see, this road is a pain in the ass, because it's two lane, both sides going against me, and I'm, a, I'm in a massive bus. Which is not exactly a Mini Cooper, it's not agile at all. The best case is when you get like lines of cars like that. Imagine though having to do that mission with the Havana secret car. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't mind because at least it'd be quick. Yeah, but it would be a pain to destroy the cars with. Eh, I'll take it over the driving this later. So yeah, these are the cars you need to take out. So just ram them a bit. All right, so now we need to get out of here. I'm gonna take a car on the road because this bus again is quite slow. I don't want to drive this thing. Okay, this is a slow transition. I don't even know where the alleyway is, though. Oh, it's here. I don't know if it is... It might be quicker, actually. Yeah, I think Pharaoh's on something. It's not gonna be like 20 seconds, but... Better than nothing. Beep. So again, I have a hidden felony meter, so me rubbing against cars did give me more felony, so I could get two cars pursuing me instead of one. Oh, I guess I didn't I guess it didn't see me. Ah. Got a bad hit. Brain got stuck somewhere. Oh, now we're at two. Okay, this is going bad now. So yeah, you can see, as I said, like, pursuers spawning right in your face and get gunning for you are quite good at hitting you. Especially in Rio, because all the streets are quite tight and don't have much sidewalks to and dodge it. Okay, seal the cup now. Another famous, infamous one, I should say, because this is a brutal one. Mm, brutal, brutal. But for ca casually, like for us, we're kind of getting used to it at this point. But... I mean, admittedly, um, what we haven't mentioned this is that the Redriver readjusted the difficulties of the game. So oh, yeah. Easy in Redriver is much easier than easy in the original port, for example. Oh, oh I just drove the pole. Let's... Oops. It's actually, it's, I think, I don't know if it was actually intended, I think it might just be a side effect out of the game was over. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think so, we actually personally did that. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, maybe, yeah, yeah. I, I, I remember reading the patch notes about that. But that aside, one of the benefits is about easy and redriver. In Rio, the roadblocks you get only exists out of a um, few cars and you can drive perfectly in between them. Well, that's the thing in OG though, and easy, that they have the same roadblock. On the actual PS1, I can confirm Nope, the roadblock is different. Really? Actually. Yeah. I would try it, the roadblock the same is actually against there. So yeah, we got a cop car with a lot of family, we need to drive it all the way to the north. And you'll see why. So I actually prefer to drive the bus in first person because now I can see traffic much better. Yeah, I, should, I thought I did. And hit it, Bill, like a moron. Yeah, I sometimes do it, but I didn't do it this time for you know, for another while. Yeah, it's better to go in first person. Just it's easier to like gauge. All right, where is the front of the bus exactly? Yes. I'm driving really badly suddenly. 
But yeah, if traffic RNG isn't uh, nice with you, you're still gonna have a hard time. Also, oh yeah, I guess because this wasn't bad enough, there's, there's also ring physics in this mission. One thing you might notice, now you might remember why, there's only one cup car following me. For some weird reason, on some missions, the game limits the amount of cup car that can spawn to one. Even though, even no matter the f how much felony you get, like I said, I'm at max felony and I still only have one guy following me and nothing else following. I guess that's their way of nerfing it for some reason. But yeah, one cop car only. You still get roadblocks, but only one guy will chase you instead of two. Which I mean, I won't complain because this makes the my life much easier. There are weird changes like that. There is a version of Driver 2, for example, where the last mission, you only get one chase car, but your health is halved for some reason. Wait, really? Yeah. Actually, it's an interesting thing. Which version was that? Version remember, that? No, I don't remember out of my head which version that was supposed to be, but I know it exists. Admittedly, it's quite place. interesting how well this game has held up over so long. Well, it helped when you remove the bloody lag. Okay, so yeah. this is why you need a cup car. Tanner went all that trouble to get a cup car to do this. Stop a slowly crawling limousine that did actually stop anyway. So yeah, that's why we went through all that trouble, it's just to do that. I can just imagine the people that play this game for the first time, like having so much trouble with still the cop car. And, and then, then I finally managed to do it. And then I come on to the other mission and I realize what they have had Why to did do all the effort for. Uh brilliant. Anyway, you were saying something before I interrupt you with that, so go ahead. Sorry? You were saying something before I interrupted you with that, so... Yeah. I actually have no idea anymore what I was saying. Crap, me either. You want to buy out of ten. What are you listening? I mean, I'm kind of... I'm half half awake at the moment. Alright, we're, <laughs> we're talking... <Sorry. laughs> we're so boring. <laughs> no, 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 I've, been, I've been listening to it, I was like, no, I'm not going to interrupt, because otherwise something happens. I mean, this is like this slow bit of the run where we're just driving like it's just a to b missions for a bit if this was gdq this would be the way we do the nations did anybody yeah i was gonna say did anybody find out what they say in kane's cash you know in the particular cut scene i know we skip it anyway this one yeah this we can one. but have they actually found out what they say in that cut scene because he says something, something in particular yeah, that's what I mean, but has anyone found out what it is in English? I, uh, I don't know. I sure think I someone did. ever um, mentioned that it's just a casual conversation talking about someone's uncle or something, but... <laughs> I think it's that, yeah. It's other just, than, I have no idea. It's something. I know someone did when say it somewhere, I just don't remember what. It might be on the wiki no one used. Honestly, it is so weird. Why has no one bothered to actually, like, find a Portuguese person to... Yeah, well, like, I mean, I'm sure you could find someone. I mean, that's someone that could understand the cup chatters in Rio. True. So. Hmm. I just try to think of beta versions of this game. There's not when it, there's not what's known about it other than the map's different and there was a car that was supposed to be used in Driver 2 but was never actually used. It got ported over to. It was in. I think it was in Vegas or yeah. Rio or something. I forget Vegas what the cities had it. Vegas has textures for uh, a car that never appeared. Yeah, they oh, managed to port it into Driver 1 on PC though, somehow. Oh, the, the satellite, the ultimately satellite. Yeah, the satellite, yeah. Um, I thought it was supposed to be the, the early version of the Challenger. Um, Maybe. Yeah, that's also what people in these were ruminating about. That would be okay, so, it. so I do, I do remember one thing about this game, which was that apart from it being difficult as a kid, 
is that um, that yellow and black, well it's funny actually, so that we could probably mention the, the bonus cars, so in each city there's a bonus car, but the ones that stick out like a sore thumb are the ones that are in Chicago and Vegas. Yeah, people use that one the most, especially the Chicago one. Uh, I'm yeah, going to interrupt Chicago. that conversation go. quickly, if you don't mind. Yeah, go for it. Because this is Save Jones. This is a brutal mission, because it's another one like steal the keys and find a, find a clue where you need to chase a car that doesn't have infinite mass. Except the car is extremely tanky. We used to lose a ton of time. Until one day, yeah. Valkyrie came out of nowhere and said, Oh, I found a way to do it instantly every time. And lo and behold, if you go to this pole at 3 minute 03, like this, the car just drives in the water. Yeah. We know we knew it existed that, that you could drive into the water the, the car could drive into the water, but we didn't know a consistent setup for it. Yeah. We didn't know how to that consistently do it. To us it was like always like RNG. So it was a complete run killer if you didn't get that luck. Yeah, and we didn't know how to do it. It's just oh alright, I got it today, cool. Oh I didn't get today. Well screw, screw it, I guess I'll lose like two minutes. And, then, and uh, now there's a method to do it consistently, which is just amazing. Valkyrie just came method out. Method in the madness. Yep, Valkyrie came out and said, Oh yeah, if you go to go by that pole, at three, between 3 and 3 and 3 and 2 you'll get it. He's, he's gonna drive, he's gonna spawn the right spot and just drive in the water. And lo and behold, he does. It's flawless. This is literally the most exciting trick that someone ever found for this game. Yeah. I think that's probably one of the most amazing things yeah. that, that has been found. This game, other than that, doesn't have that many um, glitches or things we can abuse to well, go faster. It's literally just our driving. Yeah, just drive energy. well when you're left for a driving game. <laughs> but yeah, it's help all about the good driving. Help police on your side, I guess. Hmm? And help the police and AI are on your side. Yeah, so you did get some good luck with like patterns and cops spawns, but... At the end of the day, you need to drive good and just with whatever you've given, you're given. There's no like massive trick. No, it's it's. But I think that makes this like a really f uh, fun. Yeah. Uh, it's, game. Because the driving physics of this game are amazing. Like probably my favorite driving physics for any arcade driving game. Honestly, yeah. Honestly, like new Need for Speed games have nothing with this. And it, G any GTA, Saints Row, any fucking uh, name it, I, anything I've played, nothing I managed to match this game for me. That's how good I found it. But, but that's the problem with a lot of games, is that driving is usually a secondary thing, and yeah. here it's the main focus. Yeah, that's all they have, so that's it's the game, they gotta got make it good. <laughs> And even that, that is... for a lot of game with main driving as a focus, there's a lot of games that do way worse than this. Yeah. To be fair, I think Drive 1 and 2, they, when they came out back in 99 and 2000, they hit the ground running because GTA had nothing against this. Yeah, I mean, GTA, GTA didn't hit the 3D era till 2001 when they released GTA 3, and Drive had already been doing it for two years. Yeah, no, back then GTA was still doing top down. That, that's the f that's the shame. Driver free kind of like put a massive wall in front of that momentum they had. Yeah, well, because it was Atari made them release way too quickly. It wasn't done. I mean, the yeah, gunplay in the development was very bad. Not only yeah, that, just all driver gate and all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that that thing too. Imagine if driver would have oh. released properly the way it was supposed to be released. Like the future would have been. Way different. <laughs> I have flying cars. What, what, what was wrong with Driver 3? I think everything. Uh, yeah, driving. The, the, the driving's fine, but the mi most of the missions are not well done. There's a billion of glitches. The country is terrible. The is really bad. Like it's your but, peak generic third-person shooter from the mid 2000s. Yeah, the, despite that, if you play Driver 3 as as you would play Driver 1 and Driver 2, it is still a really good driver game. Yeah, the driving physics is good. That's the, that's the, the damage thing. model is amazing, the crashes... I have everything. to admit, Driver 3 was, even though it was a mess um, at the time and still is, it, for me, still provides a yeah, fun experience when you're messing about, like blowing cop cars up and, and stuff like that. But it was just a case of how 
it basically copied GTA because it had no direction. It was it knew it had a direction with one and two, but when it got to three, it was like, oh god, we need uh, guns, we need no GTA idea. stuff. Yeah, we've got to copy GTA because that was the big trend, and GTA had they, they saw what happened with three and by City, and they were like, well, we still don't have a game. Yeah, so we need something else. What else can we have? Terry was just like, alright, just get this out. We need something. We don't care what it is. And, well, lo and behold, we just we got the crappiness that came out. Okay, so quickly, for this mission, the, it, the timer is extremely tight. Even, like, for this run, we're going to end with, like, 20 seconds only. Um, even with a flawless drive. So the big thing you want to avoid is getting enough energy to get roadblocks. Because on this road, Roblox and in the tunnel, they're quite bad to avoid. But any is quite fine to uh, just plain, just drive well on crash, avoid the cops. But yeah, back to Driver 3, it's, it's a shame because like, there's some good stuff in there. It's just, there's so much junk around it. It has so much potential. It really, really had. Like for every one mission, fun mission, there's like three that's like, what the hell happened here? I, I just wish that Reflections would get another shot at making a game like that. Yeah. I mean, they were extremely creative with San Francisco. Yeah. I, I hate to say it, but where 3 failed, Parallel Lines exceeded. Yeah, but back then... True! Back, at that, point, well, just, that, that was the weird thing. Like, over the years, I've, I've slowly come to learn that... Not come to learn, come to the fact that 3 was really bad, and Parallel Lines was actually a hidden... Not hidden gem or masterpiece, but... It's a fun one. The story and the game as a whole is really good. Yeah, no, it's a fun it, GTA clone. It it it. Well, I wouldn't even call it per se a GTA clone. It just did it. It just did the driver mechanics well in there as well. Oh my like, god! You had you had the you had the gunplay. Well, I screwed up, gunman. You know, you, you had the gunplay like what you had in GTA anyway with Parallel Lines and Three, but Parallel Lines just did the better job, and it had a tie in story with Seventy Six, which. At the time, nobody really cared about anyway, so it was like, oh, okay, well, that's a thing, I guess. The, th the thing is, when did Parallel Lines release again? Like around 2006. 2006. 2006. And by that point, the GTA had released three Vice City San Andreas, Liberty yeah. City Stories, and Vice City Stories on but, PSP. But oh, admittedly to me, at the point of Driver San, San Francisco, uh, San Francisco, sorry, uh, Driver Parallel Lines releasing, the mechanics were still incredibly good, like from driving, you had car modifying, all of that stuff. The gunplay was also well done, even for in cars. Yeah, it's like, much better. In GTA, you ha in GTA, you can only like could look to the left and right and shoot your gun out, like a drive-by out the window. Yeah, they but you could yeah. actually like, properly shoot forward. Yeah, it was closer to uh, what they did in GTA 4 by that point. Like for the, uh... If anything, really, you you kind of got to give Driver credit where it's due because Driver was like, yeah, okay, you can shoot out of a car whilst driving and you can shoot to the left, to the right, and you can shoot straight ahead and you can target whatever car's in front of you. Yeah. The downside being, well, obviously, what, what GTA could do was do driving and shooting, but again, that had a downside, but Driver could do it better in, in some weird way. It yeah. was a weird mix, but it worked. It, it was a lot more polished in that regard. Yeah, um, and then when San Francisco came out, that was supposed to be... I wouldn't say it was, but a lot of people might say it was supposed to be the reboot of the Driver franchise, and it just never happened. It was, but I think they just didn't... Well, they ended up doing the direction, that. The... the direction they took with Driver San Francisco, also it not being like a Driver 4 yeah, uh, or Drive 5 name, made it already feel like Parallel Lines being a non-main game, like more of a spin-off. Which was still weird, because it still had the main characters, like uh, Tanner, Jones, right. Jericho. I mean, by that point, they would just... they like The, the game was... Uh, there, it is a driver, there is some drivers left in it, but it's quite different, like with all the uh, teleportation and shit. Yeah, it, it. I mean, they created a hidden gem with it, but it's yeah, like a, it's brilliant. definitely a one-off game. Like they wouldn't be able to make a San Francisco two. Yeah. No, uh, I was gonna say they, they would be able to make a new. They would be able to make a new driver game because there's still technically characters which are unaccounted for. Obviously, you've got Tanner and Jones. Jericho's now locked up after San Francisco. Kane's dead, but you've got Vasquez in this one. He's still alive somewhere. 
Yeah. So there's a possible, and there's also the possibility that you could actually throw two storylines into one where TK from Parallel Lines, or, well, Ray's... Yeah, I guess there's dead, nothing for Indian TK from Parallel Lines is, is one another. You could also have a sequel to Parallel Lines just all together. Like, I wouldn't yeah. mind that. Because the thing is, no one knows what happens to Corrigan after Maria takes him, presumably he gets shot. But that's what... That's just a, a wild guess. Because he's gone... Basically, she said she was going to torture him. At the end of it, she's like, if you want him to suffer, give him to me. So he gives him to her. So God knows what they did to him. Whether he's still alive or not, he's probably a big no-no. I thought they were grabbing Ken Kane, so... so I know, I'm pretty sure it's safe to He's probably not alive right after that one. Oh, Kane's not, after being shot in the back of the head in three. But, I don't know, I mean... Maybe he does make a comeback. That was the thing. I thought Jericho was dead after the second, after this game. Oh, I found the but he's not when you watch all the cutscenes. Like, nah. What's the time, by the way? I'm in the final mission. Uh, one seventeen currently. Oh. Okay, I want PB, but it's, it's a pretty good run. It's up one twenty. Come on. Let's go. I mean, I need first fighters. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, hi there, my guy. And you just want to go. Oh no. Bad bath. 124, another bad bath, wow. I mean, I got 150 right away and failed it literally at the end. You had one hit left and it just spun out. Oh, <laughs> like an idiot. Right. But then I got 123 right after. I got 123, yeah. Alright, well, good luck. So this oh, is the final whoa. mission. Okay. Um, the physics in 123 for me just became weird. weird. But I managed to save my car. It's not going to be a fast kill, but... So yeah, this is the final mission. It's quite brutal. Because you need to chase the helicopter. The helicopter is extremely quick. And by the end, it goes supersonic. So you need to get to, to the end rope at the same as it does if you want to beat the mission. Else you'll fail. And you got two chasers at the whole, the whole time. Ah, uh, fuck this. So, you're basically allowed to do one mistake, pretty much. I keep getting 124s and 156. You can just give me something good, thank you. I'm gonna slow down a bit because I'm getting quite ahead. Oh, I, think, no. I think I might have got it though. Yep, I got a good spawn. Oh, okay, well, it's, I think I'm, I'm gonna finish. Unless I fuck up the last corner like I got, did once. I am not having the. I am having the worst luck. All right, yeah, I got it. All right, nice. All right, I'm happy with this run. This was a good run to showcase, at least. Oh. Yeah, mine. Uh, mine is a, is the one where. Uh, and I time. All right. GG. Yours was a 1-19-13 survivor, I'm just waiting on Ricky now. Damn! Wow, that's a that's a brilliant run. Oh, wow! <laughs> Why? Uh, oh, wow, okay, Ricky's going for a ride. I am, I am having really, really bad luck. Thank you. Oh, 2-9. Oh, See, the okay. weird nope. thing is, if it's any consolation, Ricky, if you, me and you were racing, I would be the one getting the bad luck. Uh, no, I don't I don't think so. This is, like, actually a really, really bad run. Yeah, this is quite, quite the luck. I mean, at that point, I would just have uh, kept going instead of getting the quick kill. Oh, that's a nice way to do it. Kane, oh. it's Tanner. Kane! Oh, yeah. Kane? You have your edit files. Oh, man. <laughs> nah, that's not the actual voice line, but there's actually uh, some uh, creativity I did some time ago where I have a copy of the game where I changed the cutscene voice lines for no apparent reason except to just have fun. Yeah. I 
mean, we, the estimate is still way overkill, but we are. Yeah. We really went. I mean, again, like we said before, we started. Like, back then, I just, I just got in like a 140 something. Like, that was a new world record. We're like, oh my god, this is so good. I have no way. I don't know, it's not that good, it's actually pretty terrible run, because now we're like in the 118s. Yeah, well, you are in the 118s. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> it's not a person oh. that's getting any, anywhere that's actually a weird, a weirdly wonderful time is, is you. So you mean Ricky, I mean Ricky's well a lot closer than I am. I'm in seven minutes back, eight minutes behind you. I'm like 50 seconds, I think. Uh, yeah, something around. Well, we got a 119.30 something. 33. Like, and my PB is a 118.39. Holy like crap. How. I hate the hitboxes in this game so much. Yep. Push it. Holes are much bigger. And now you just, as a bonus, get a ton of fairy, so you gotta get another guy. Yeah, this mission is a pain in the ass for that, because, like, it doesn't take long to do one mistake and get a bunch of cop cars and this is a long straight road with basically nothing to avoid the cars so it, it's a it's a it's a pain and there's like no other roads around you for cops to spawn so they just spawn where you are also it's probably worth noting oh. you can probably hear that the music that survivor listens to and the one that Ricky listens to the soundtrack's different because you can actually use the driver one soundtrack for driver two it's pretty cool yeah that's i like it it's really cool and since yeah. the driver one soundtrack is a little bit more uh, varied i yeah. like to use that personally yeah because in in this game unlike driver one uh, in driver one they just interchange all the day night songs from each city all over the place and this one they just stick to the day and night theme for yeah. each city so you're just gonna swap like saying Rio, we're just going to be using the day or night team constantly. That's it. Yeah, they or they one, we're just using the they swap it every other mission pretty much if it's day or night. So it doesn't yeah. matter if it's day or night in the mission, you will get a, a day or night. <laughs> yeah. In fact, funny enough, you can tell when there's a mission that was cut because there's it's the same team that plays twice in a row. Uh, yeah, and that's. Out, oh look, there's a mi there's a mission. There was supposed to be a mission in between yeah. there before, and it got cut. Actually, when I made the auto splitter for uh, Redriver, um, I figured that out as well because I found the value in the RAM that stores the mission counter, and it suddenly jumps um, from like seven to eight, uh, nine. <laughs> so, hmm, yeah, there there's something missing there. Because there was a mission. There's a mission in Chicago. There's one in Havana, if I recall. And there's another one in Rio. That got cut. I mean, most of them are pretty boring. And one of them is just you just got merged into the mission. It's the uh, hijack the truck. Bef you before apparently uh, the actually grabbing the truck and taking it back to the lockup was a separate mission. Now it's just part of the. Yeah, the it, main one. It's like it a was one in Chicago. I forget which what the mission was called, but I remember seeing like someone play through the bonus mission. I think it was Jones Rendezvous. It's yeah, after the compound. It. That's after yeah, the compound. You're supposed to drive back to Jones, and now and they've got the bombs chasing you. Nope, cop cars actually. Oh, cop cars. I thought it was bombs. Yeah, for some reason it's just cop cars. It was it. Maybe it's because it wasn't set up right away properly, like, because it got cut. So maybe that what it was supposed to be then, and they just didn't finish it. I would love for a version of this game to exist where the cup missions are in. I think it's doable. I mean, that would be of great. I mean, to be fair though, you say that. I always thought um, them because I always used to like watching them Doctor Shem missions that he used to do. Obviously, he used yeah. to do custom ones with PS One, but I'm like, if custom missions are a thing for this, and there are people have created custom missions for this already. Well, it's just like for, if uh, someone can right create the. Yeah, if, if someone can create the Doctor Chef missions, that would be pretty damn cool to speed run. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, okay, it would be short, but obviously, and you'd probably have to tell them the difficulty down, because it did look pretty difficult um, on some of the missions that you were doing, but it would be pretty cool to just implement something like that. I mean, heck, you could probably import Driver 1 into driver two. Yeah, yeah, the so attempt has, yeah. has been made by Soapy himself actually, but it doesn't fully work it's supposed the way it's supposed to, sadly. I 
Alright, well. I but think uh, it's do. it's safe for open driver, I believe, at this point. Yeah, no, it is safe for open driver. Alright, be also, prepared for, for time why I don't go to and the time. GG. Yeah, for those curious and why I don't go between the trees, uh, I once failed a run there because I crashed in the tree, so I don't do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> right, so it was 11913 for you, Survivor. Ricky o was at 12608, which is still better than my PB, so you can feel happy about that. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, 12608. That's like uh, yeah, five and a half minutes start. slower than my PB. That's... Yeah, he did have a rough start, to be fair. Yeah. It's five minutes, almost six minutes slower, yeah. Yeah. It is six minutes slower. You got a fucking 119. It's like six and a half. Pretty awful. I'm I mean, quite pleased with mine. Mine went uh, better than I expected, honestly. I was expecting to get like a 122, something like that. This went super smooth. Yeah, you had a really good run, actually, for a marathon run. Yeah, this is... This is up there. But admittedly, I must say, you are way more used than talking and playing at the same time than I am. Yeah, because I just never shut up when I was speaking. So. Nope, nope. You were like on your uh, talking chair. <laughs> Yeah, but well, I mean, it's gonna be distracted, so. Ah, it's fine. Chair. That's the thing now. Talking chair. It's actually a Dutch shake, uh, Dutch saying. So where I'm from, yeah, it's like, oh, he's sitting on his talking chair. Oh yeah, GG. Be... Oh, thank you. I mean, I hope everyone enjoyed it. This was a. This yeah, was I hope uh, I hope the race was uh, enjoyable to watch, uh, even though it was decided pretty early on, <laughs> sadly. I, I well. jinxed myself by saying I would win. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's that one, huh? <laughs> uh, it's definitely, definitely meant to say I'm not gonna win, so he would have won. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I, next time I uh, I need to keep it in mind. I I'm just gonna say I lose, and then. Uh... But yeah. Um. Any final words before we switch over? Um. um I mean, I guess I could say go and solve this game. It's worth it. It's a it's a great way to experience the original game in a much smoother fashion and it's yeah. it's a great experience so i uh, highly recommend people to try it and if you want to sp speed run this thing uh you can always come to the, the driver two the driver speed running discord we got a channel for this driver two specifically so if you have any questions just ask we'll be happy to help you with anything and you any runs you want to do just ask for sure, like come try out this game. Like Vortex has a wonderful tutorial on how to install it as well. Yep, True. Uh, Vortex has a good tutorial too. So thanks to him for making that and helping people actually get it over. Because you need your own copy of the game to play it. So I'm pretty sure that's what I'd nice. use actually to install the game first time. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, thanks to Soapy and his team for creating this admittedly masterpiece of a port. Like yeah, this um, this, this was probably expected. like the best present someone who would have been able to give me because this is probably my favorite game ever. That so. same. Um, oh, there's a reason that we both speed run this bloody game. Yeah, despite how for sure. janky and hard something it gets. Although I am looking to speed run different games, so if people have suggestions, uh, go to my channel and go bully me or on Discord. <laughs> Anyway, no, say that you'll get loads of hate mail now. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> it's like go and bully Ricky. No, don't do that. Don't <laughs> I, guess do that. I guess final plug. So yeah, I'm the survivor. He's the red Ricky, or and red Ricky period. This was Red Driver. <laughs> Two, or Red River, depending on what, how you. No, want it's Red Driver. Fuck you. No, 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 no. I know. I just call it Red Red River to annoy you, Sophie, because I, I know he said like, it it. Red Driver Two, Red River Two. How call it whichever. Don't make Soapy angry. It's Redriver. Yeah, he's got to. Oh, he's got yeah, to have okay. a, like, a, We'll go with that. We'll go with patch, not uh, Soapy uh, angry. He's got to patch speed run glitch if we annoy him. <laughs> All right, he might have already done it, and he's just not said anything. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so I just watch this now. The next time we do, next time you're doing runs. Well, that glitch doesn't work anymore. Hmm. hmm. What happened? <laughs> oh, I can't drown that car and save Jones anymore. Soapy. <laughs> Yeah, you now have to watch all the full cutscenes again. <laughs> yeah, don't skip cutscenes anymore. <laughs> Alright, well, thanks for watching. Yeah. Now, time for a new Viper. I actually finished it with you at the first game this time. Yeah, Yay. all the way back to the beginning. <laughs> the, the, the... You're going in reverse order, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, it's, it's going whatever. from. Well, if I put San Francisco before Power Lines, yeah, it would go backwards. 
so close yet so far. Good luck it's with your run. Well, it's like one of the newest ones is like in the middle of it, and then the the first one's right at the end. Yep. I mean, it's a good game to end the OG one. Oh, PlayStation Two. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is gonna be a fun one to watch. Oh, it says PS Two, but it's PS One really. No, it says PS One. P- well, it says PS Premium, I suppose. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Anyway, I'll get I need to get us out for that one. So we're gonna go to a quick intermission. Then when we come back, we'll have Drive Up One. We'll see you shortly. Bye. Uh...